If you can give me a scientific explanation into how crystals are more than just rocks, maybe I'll start to believe. I mean, okay. Firstly, crystals are used in the phone that you're using to watch this goddamn video, as well as in our satellites, computers, and even our brain. Brain? I have rocks in my brain? Mm-hmm. About five million magnetite crystals per gram of tissue up in that thick ass head. What the fuck? Rocks are seeming pretty cool now, huh? I mean, yeah, but uh, 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 I'm not finished. Not many people know this, but all living things produce an electromagnetic field around them constantly. For humans, the size of that field corresponds to the level of your vibration. Since crystals and humans both emit energy, you're able to connect with these crystals and charge it with the energy of your intention. And this is because crystals are one of the most purest forms of consciousness. Oh, so rocks are alive now, are they? Well, they've been alive, bro, way longer than you. Working with crystals can strengthen and widen your electromagnetic field. The wider your electromagnetic field, the stronger you can manifest your thoughts into the physical realm. But if, and only if, you consciously download it as real, because you choose what's real and what's fake through what you choose to believe. Wow, but where did you learn this stuff from? Jake Eisen, bro. Dude's a wizard.